um, there's some European stuff in there. A little small. Our, our Aldi is a little small, and I'm annoyed that you pay a quarter to get a shopping cart there. It's like, God damn it, you're squeezing Do me you from every pay end. or <laughs> temporarily pay. Yeah, you just put yeah. it in there and then you plug it back in and That's you get right. the quarter. Out. That's right. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's to right. keep people from being like shopping cart goblins who leave it in the middle of the parking lot like a fucking asshole. And it's so they don't have to pay a shopping cart guy. Yeah. True. And they don't just like pay a bagger person. It's like you like you bag your own shit. They don't That's, give you bags. You have to bring your I don't own play stuff. That shit. So I just had a bunch of slugs made. So I'm just leave the cart <laughs> tipped over on its side in the parking lot. Leave the slug in the machine. <laughs> like in a, a real in a spot. Pizza. Like a real piece of shit. It's funny. You say in that, a handicapped like, spot. There's <laughs> like a meme about like the shopping cart test. And it's like, it was some like 4chan post. This one being like, the shopping cart is the ultimate test of whether or not you're a good member of society. Think about it. You have nothing to gain by returning it. You will not be punished by not returning it. The only thing to keep you returning that cart is because you like to have a bit of order. At the place and so you know you're the kind of person who returns the cart knowing that you won't be punished if you don't you won't be rewarded if you do you're someone who you know you'll function in a society pretty good you're you're a kyle over here where you just say fuck the quarter and you just fire it into someone's tailgate you know across the way he can't you know he doesn't belong in society basically that's right yeah he's a he's a I, nefarious uh, no good i return the shopping carts to a point like oh I'm you got to return shopping them. carts that's so that's so rude Sometimes they're, they're, they're just they're just out of place. They don't have a like corral anywhere near you. And like it's either it, it's, it's just way too far to walk. Like, I'm with Kyle. I, I think of myself as a good member of society and I return shopping carts most of the time. But sometimes I'm like, I, I don't know. Like if you have a good spot at Home Depot, you can return. the. You can either walk all the way back to Home Depot with your cart or you senselessly walk just as far away from Home Depot to get the corral. You know, how Disney World. Did that study where they're like people on average will walk 27 feet before they uh, throw their trash away. So they make sure that every can is 25 feet apart. Yeah. So you always, you know, bump into one. If the shopping corral, I guess I'll call it, is too far away, then this is partly your design decision. And I will put the <laughs> shopping cart in a spot that seems out of the way, but not all the way back. So yeah. disappointed in you guys. I'm a job do- creator, huh? I'm a job creator over here. No, you're saying you're putting it somewhere out of the way. I guarantee you're taking those front two wheels and you're just putting it on an island in the middle that of the That sounds island. out of the way to me. That's what you're doing. <laughs> hey, that's something though, right? Like, like, like I've seen people just sort of like sit it there like a like like the last Jenga block in a fucking <laughs> tower, ready to roll. Like as soon as they're driving away, it's starting that it's downhill fucking them. roll right into somebody's Mercedes. Well, I guess it's not as bad as that, but still. What if I just flip it on its side so it can't cause any problem? That's <laughs> Taylor, are so you shit. telling us you <laughs> always <laughs> return it? Or just, or just take a step back and like drop kick it over on its side. It's like, no, as the guy's coming like to collect it. And hop in my car. <laughs> as the guy's coming <laughs> to collect it, you just look at him and just no, <laughs> push I, it up. I, I return it as long as it's even within the realm of being convenient. Like, like if it's like, if I can see the sh- corral from where I'm standing, I'm going to put it in that corral, but I'm not walking all the way across the parking lot and I'm not walking all the way back in the store. Usually. Taylor, do you always return the car? You, you are over there high and mighty on top of your marble throne, looking down at us as if yeah. you've never left a shopping cart anywhere, but in the corral. I don't think I've not returned a shopping cart in 15 years. That's, damn. I'm I think every single time, I think every time as an adult, I've used a cart, I've returned it. Taylor's out there collecting other people's carts and returning them. At this point, he's a I've literally, cart. I've done that. Well, the real thing is I'm just trying to make money <laughs> collecting the fucking carts and returning them at the front for the fucking cash. Can't afford to feed my kiddies. When you think about <laughs> gathering a cart on the way, I might be a net neutral. Same. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys net news. And when I do put them in the corral, <laughs> when I do put them in the corral, I don't just like throw it in there. Like I'll compress them all together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if I remembered a time where I didn't return the cart, I'm in so deep I could never admit it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in a rainstorm okay. though, that shit ain't getting put anywhere. If it's if it's fucking pouring rain or like if it's cold as fuck, like legitimately like like sleeting or something. Oh, that Georgia cold. 
I mean, you know, 20, <laughs> like, I, I, we I'm all know gonna, sometimes it gets to 47 there. It's not like snow <laughs> where I'm not going to like die on the way to, but I'm not also not going to get soaking wet. I'm going to fucking do whatever's convenient to me. Speaking of snow piercer. Do that job, by the way. That's the thing we're overlooking as if there isn't it, a guy whose job it is just to do that. If Taylor, if there were too many Taylors, there'd be no job. That's right. Huh. Well, there would have made me he give me a lot to think about. <laughs> after a while, they have to start paying him. Yeah. <laughs> You've been out there for an hour and a half collecting carts. Can would you like to talk to HR? You're ta yeah, you're taking food right out of that cart man's mouth when you do that. You know what I'm happens? You know what would happen if everyone returned their carts like Good Guy Taylor? The cart man would be out of a job. Okay, you know what I do with my car? His job I is to bring the carts from outside back into the fucking store, dumbass. Not to collect And the harder and... that job is, the more laborious, <laughs> the more difficult and time consuming it is, the more hours the man gets, the more money he makes. That's the same reason I... sometimes all trip waiters was they're bringing That's food why to the Kyle table. I'm a job his... creator! He takes his Home Depot carts and brings them to Lowe's and vice versa. <laughs> just, just to make busy Sometimes work. Kyle doesn't even need to go shopping. He just goes there and he pushes them around. The I go and out. I push all the carts up into the grass and throw, toss them in the woods down below. And and look, he's out there for hours. I see him. I sit across the street at the other store and I watch him through binoculars while, Wait, he, we, while he works. We, we learned verifiably that Kyle and I are both smug bitch assholes. And one thing Definitely I am me. a smug I don't bitch think he about you smug. is... I am smug about returning carts. I always right. return my cart. When I see somebody do that, leaning it up on the island, I fucking hate that. I hate There's, that. Is there any excuse for that? What if it's pouring rain? Just walk and return it. It's like it doesn't. I, take I asked long. you a question. There's no excuse. Just do there it. There is no torrential downpour that will dissuade you from returning that cart, no. even though you know it might go away later, it's and a cart man might be able to away. return it in the sunny. Really? What if it's not? Well, what I didn't tell you is that I park always in the handicap space, and so, <laughs> <laughs> which is right next to the cart return, and that's that's they call that uh, beating karma. They yeah. call that a net neutral on karma. As you, you park in, I take it a step space. further. I park in the cart return just to fuck with people like Taylor. I park directly in front of the cart return. You just <laughs> you shut my car. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Is this a uh, <laughs> mentally handicapped guy trying to get by? I'm boxing him out. Oh, you, you're going to have to want it. You got to want these cards. You're, I'm a job creator. Show Can me. I return them, but I'll admit there have been times when like, it was raining and I propped that shit up somewhere. I was just like, I'm not, I'm not getting soaked over, over whatever like, I, I ran out of there. With. I've definitely left it before, but it's not a practice. Them. One thing I will do is I'll I'm like ghost too. ride it into the return, and if it doesn't like go into the next card or whatever, I just call it good. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, that's that's fine. I'll be honest. I try to hit it from as far conference. away as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you ever like? Sometimes there's like five of them that aren't quite lined up in there already. You ever try and you just throw it in there oh, so yeah. hard you're like, I'm gonna try and re rack Get as many all. as I can yeah. into there. But then that push. gate pops out at the end, and you just shove 15 shopping carts <laughs> down a hill. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta run for it now. <laughs> They're fucking taking my cart trick. <laughs> did you did you happen to see like that? I think it was a Home Depot, mm. and there was like a line of people, and the lady kept like bumping this guy with her cart. Like he's in front of her back turned. I don't like that. Like, rude as hell. She's like mm. bumping him. And she might have even had one of those flatbed metal carts that you put like planted pots mm. on. This dude finally has enough. He takes like five steps away and she's not really paying attention. He picks up one of those orange shopping carts over his head like a gorilla, like he's Donkey Kong. <laughs> and, <laughs> a barrel. and he hurls it at her head with both hands and drops her like a bad habit now I mean, see that's rude also drop too if i got <laughs> rude up. Oh, is, that in, is that inconsiderate taylor they, that's that's round upon like uh, they, both I mean, of, th i'm not here to say who understands who, manners yeah i'm not here to say one was worse than the other i, I would never <laughs> i would never deign to to, de to decree that but we can agree they're both pieces of shit i like yeah. how uh, shopping trolleys and all caps in the link shopping yeah. trolley oh is this oh, in the uk oh my god oh gov what? you got a license for that trolley Damn, he, oh, wow, I mean, okay. He literally, yeah, he literally two hand trucks it. Yeah, she should have. Uh, is there a video? Oh, I have to allow ads. No, that's Mayor Carlin's. And I only see the still shot, but it's pretty badass. Oh, it's in Brazil. Brazil. Uh, a lot of wild stuff going on in Brazil all the time. 
based on the internet Hill. videos. I uh God damn, that guy would heaved it at her and she did you know, bad she situational coming at awareness. All. Bad she situational did. awareness. You know what? She, she would be allowed to play for there. the Miami You're Dolphins. Allowed to win, right? Like like <laughs> if Taylor like, like if I check Taylor and then he checks me harder but it's a legal check. You don't get a penalty for being bigger and stronger than your opponent. You're supposed to be. That's man knows the rules. That's she true. bopped him with her card. He bopped her with his. Nah, I do she, think this is the equivalent of flicking, flicking your friend and they turn around and punch you as hard as they can in the stomach. And you're like, what the fuck? He's yeah. Like, Yo, like, dude, equal. <laughs> I see aggravated yeah. assault in both cases. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It'd be a tough case, Woody, but I'm sure somebody would take it. Yeah, better call Saul on this one. Yeah. <laughs>